case in this video I am going to discuss about how to fetch even and odd number record in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So first I am going to show you about the tables. So add here use select a statement select a star from. So my table is escort dot emp table. Now see the record inside emp table. So this is the record add here. So in this EMP number, I am going to load at here on the even number of records. So for this, we have to use at here or uh, select a star from EMP and here we need to filter the records. So where clause EMP number, EMP number and here we need to use mod operator. So if you divide by 2 mod 2 equal to 0 so if the value is 0 so that will load only even numbers of EMP number here. Now let's execute that. So see at here this all are even 6 4 8 2 8 4 6 0 this all are even number of records. So modulus operator so add here modulus operator. Suppose if you enter at here 4 and here mod 2. So it divides by 2 times and here mod does operate to return 0. So if the remainder is 0 and here that means this is the even number of record. And suppose it returns something like remainder 1 so that will return odd number of records. So see at here this is the EMP and here this is the query for even numbers. So see uh, 6 at here or 6x six, six, and here 5 4 this all are even. Now if you want to load only uh, odd number of records so let's copy that one and uh, paste it down. So in place of 0 you have to keep at here 1. So this will load only odd number here. So see at here 9 9 so this is the 991 nine, here after that to 99 nine. and here this is only 9919 nine, nine. so this the values are odd number so let's check that there are only four emp number has uh, odd number so see here this all are even only four emp number has odd number So this is the way we can find out any in any column which is the even or odd. So you can apply this one in salary also. So you can find out even salary number or odd salary number. So here you need to use mod operator. So this is the way we can fetch even and odd number of records in Microsoft SQL Server. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.